What's up guys, this is Ryan with AppCalendar.com. I've got the January 5th iPhone application to review today. The iPhone application that I'm gonna review is an app called TapForms Database. What TapForms Database does is it lets you securely um, keep track of pretty much everything in your life. It's, it's one big database um, in your pocket. Um, first off, before I get this review started, I want to go ahead and say that this is one of the most comprehensive applications I've ever seen. There's so much information in this application that I'm probably going to miss something um, during this review. So if you want to learn more about the application, go to um, the developer's main website, tapforms.com, and there's actually a screencast, about a 10 or 11 minute screencast where you can watch um, how to do pretty much everything within this application. So with that said, Here's the main startup screen. These are the few test um, forms that I've already added. We have an audio dictation, bank account, credit card, website login, and a sample form down here. We also have five buttons here at the bottom. My forms tab, favorites, search, files, and tools. I'm gonna tap in tools and just show you the main functions and features of this application. First off, we obviously have about. You can tell a friend or share this on Facebook. The main um, features are right here in the middle here where I can customize any single form. This application comes pre-configured with 25 or 26 forms. These are anything from an audio dictation to software licenses to bank accounts, credit cards, anything you can think of. Most of your main things that you would want to keep track of are already included in this application. Now, these aren't um, just little little space holders either. These are very intuitive, or not really intuitive, but comprehensive um, forms. So, for instance, I'll click on a credit card. All of these forms have uh, form fields within them that are that you would type in if you're wanting to get, um, well, let me just, instead of trying to explain, let me just click in here. So for a credit card, here's all of the fields. We have card type, card number, expiration date, the CVV code, and a PIN number, maybe if it's a debit card. Also, with any of these forms, I can add or delete a field. I can also change the order of the field. And then I can also change the icon. If I want to select a different icon with this, um, I can even take a picture here of a new icon. So let's say I have a custom form. I want to take a picture. I can do that as well. I can change the category. There's um, only four categories here, but I can edit these categories. I can add these categories. Every single bit of this application is customized, customizable, which is why I really, really um, like this application, and which, again, why I said why I probably will forget to mention something in this application. So I'm going to get out of here right now, and I'm actually going to go back into the tool setting. So there we had um, the, the customizable forms. I can, again, edit categories or my pick list. The pick list is really cool, too, um, with different forms. Let's say if you have a form that um, – or an event. Let's say you're always typing in birthday. You can have, actually, um, a pick list of your main um, events where it, where it will cover anniversary, birthday, Christmas, pick list for credit cards. And, again, within this pick list category, I can actually add my own pick list. So let's say – I don't know, for instance, you're adding, um, I don't know, your books, a, a, a pick list of books where you have fiction, nonfiction, autobiography. I can add a pick list for that if I have, if I want to keep inventory of my books. Again, I can edit almost everything in this application. Then um, with that, we have backup and restore and import and export settings, which I'm not going to cover in this demo because um, that would just go way too long for this application review. If you want to learn about anything of the backup and restore, they most of these have a help icon here where you can learn all about that. Same thing with your um, import and export settings. You can learn all about that here. And then also down here, we can change the font here. Down here is the security settings. If I want to put a passcode on this, every time I launch the application, I can do that. If I want to auto-lock it or I want to change how this locks, let's say I want to change it to lock after 10 minutes or 30 minutes, you can do all that within here. Um, also, I can set an encryption key for anything that's sent. Um, I can set my own personal pin code basically for this application and I can switch um, the language down here. Again, very, very comprehensive application. I'm just going to go right now to this form setting. I'm going to show you how to add a new form. First off, here we have the five forms that are already set up. I want to show you in um, just the different form fields right now. We have audio dictation, a really neat um, thing about this application is every feature of the application is done within the app actual application. So if I want to send an email, I can type up here. If I if I want to record an audio note, first off, let me record a test audio note. Testing, testing, one, two, three. 
go ahead and pause or stop that. I can play that within. Testing, testing, one, two, three. If I want to delete that, I'm not going to delete that. Let's say I want to email. You can see that du this duration is um, three seconds long. I can actually email this. And the cool thing about this application is the email um, feature is within the application. I don't have to exit the application. So when I click email record, it's going to type up an email. There's my um, attachment there. And again, you'll notice that this is within the application. So if I click click cancel here, I go straight back to the application. I don't have to exit and enter the application. Really neat feature of the application. Also, up here, you'll see a little star icon. If I tap that star icon, this note gets added, or this form gets added into my favorites field, which I'll show you in a second. I'm going to go back to a forms. We have my bank accounts here, credit cards. Again, all these are test accounts. Websites, here's another neat feature. Uh, your, your browser is built into the application, so you'll see I added uniqueapps.com if I click on this. This will actually open the mobile version of our website um, within the application. You don't have to leave the application. Um, I can, again, type in the website name. I'm not going to do that. Again, just a test. I'm going to show you how to add a form now. So I'm going to click this plus icon at the bottom. Here's the list of 25 or 26 forms. Let's say that I wanted to add my passport information. Here's again, this is really why this application is so intuitive because it already gave me pre-configured um, forms. So who's the owner, what's the number, where's the issuing country. Again, all of this can be edited. All of this, once I click in here, I can, cr I can do many things um, throughout this application. When I click here, I can actually add a new record into there. Um, I, or I can actually go to customize a form there and I can delete different things, rearrange different things. Um, all within this application. Again, very, very neat application. And it's it's just huge. It's so comprehensive. There's so many things that you can do. Um, so with that said, that's how you add a form. This is this is your main feature of the of the application. Again, um, adding anything. If you want to keep track of your credit card, so when you lose if you lose your wallet or your purse, um, you have your credit cards. Um, so when you're trying to cancel them, you have a list of all of them here. Now I'm going to go to, we noticed that, or you'll see here that I added this to my favorites. I think I have a few other to my favorites here. Here's my visa and here's my bank account. Here's my audio dictation here. All of my favorites. I can also search with, within this application. Let me show you real quick. Let's say my business account is called Unique Apps. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now that that's saved, there's a new form down here, um, business accounts. I can actually search, and let's say that I'm looking for my business account. I can type in unique. I can search that. There it's going to bring up my website, my website logins, as well as my business account. So very intuitive search feature. And then also my files. This gets into your exports and imports, which I'm not going to cover in this video. And I actually think um, that I that I rambled on enough in this video. I apologize if I rambled on a little bit too much. I tried to cover everything about this application. Again, very, very intuitive application. Very comprehensive. Um, really cool thing about this application is they do have a light version. So I recommend buying, or not buying, but downloading the light version um, to check it all out. I, it's a it's a pretty fully featured light version as well. This is the premium feature that I'm using, right? or this is the premium application that I'm using right now. But go ahead and download the light version, or download the light version if you want to check it out before you buy it. And also I'll include the light and the paid in the description to this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video of Tap Forms Database. If you're wanting to keep track of pretty much everything in your app, in your life, um, this is an application that you can do it with. So hope you enjoyed this app calendar review. Sorry again if I rambled on a bit, but I hope you enjoyed the review. And I hope you have a great day.